Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to create TCP connection between S7 1200 series CPU and S7 300 series CPU in user program. Same principle applies to S7 1500 series CPU as well. In my previous videos you can find how configure IP address in user program. Here I am going to use the projects from previous videos. You can find links to them in the description. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Let's jump over the configuration of S7300 series PLC. In the hardware configuration, open properties of your CP343, lean, click on IP configuration tab, and make sure, that you have selected set IP address in the user program. To set station IP in the user program, FB55, IP config is used. In the DV104 you can see the configuration of the IP address, and two TCP connections. One is for connection with S7300 series. And another one is for connection with S7 1200 series CPU. The data structure of these connections is identical, just differs local and remote ports, and IP address of the remote CPU. Let's have a look at the S7 1200 series CPU configuration. In the properties of the PropiNet interface, select Ethernet address, and make sure, that you have selected IP address is set directly at the device. Configuration data, with data structure and explanations you can find in one of my previous videos. Data structure consists of header, device IP address, and device name. Setting the device name will not be used in this video. To make a connection with partner and send, or receive some data, instructions T send C, and T receive C are used. Instruction T send C combines the functions T con, T discon, and T send, while T reek C instruction combines functions T con, T discon, and T reek. The minimum size of data, that can be transmitted or received is 1 byte. Let's take a look at the parameters of the TSENC. Input REQ. Starts the send job on a rising edge. Input CONT. Controls the communication connection. If you want to disconnect the communication, then set false here. If you want to establish communication, then set true here. LEN. It is optional parameter that sets maximum number of bytes to be sent or received. Connect. Here you need to specify pointer to the connection description. Data, pointer to the send area. Address, is an optional parameter. It is a pointer to the address of recipient with connection type UDP. COMRST, this parameter is also optional, it's a restart instruction. Output parameters. Done, indicates the status of the job. If value is zero, then it means, that job not yet started, or is still executing. If value is 1, then it means, that job executed without errors, and this state is only displayed for one cycle. Busy, indicates the state of job. If its value is 0, then it means, that job is not started, or already completed. Value 1 means, that job is still in progress, and new job cannot be started. Error, indicates if an error occurred during connection establishment, data transmission, or connection termination. Status, return the status of instruction. 
If error occur, then error code will be saved here. Let's take a look at the configuration data block. You need to create a variable with a data type tcon IPv4. The structure of this data type is as follows. Interface ID, hardware identifier of the local interface. You can find it in system constants of your hardware in the device view. ID, it is a reference to this connection. Value may be within 1 to 4095. This value must be specified for the TSENSE, TRCVC, or TCON instruction under ID. Connection type, 11 stands for TCP, 19 stands for UDP connection. Active established, type of connection establishment. True stands for active connection, false stands for passive connection. Remote address, IP address of the remote partner. Remote port, port address of the remote connection partner. Local port, port address of the local connection partner. Let's try to activate connection between these two CPUs. To activate the connection on the S7-1200 side you need set input cont of TSEND C to true. At the moment value of the output status is 7000 in hex. It indicates, that no communication connection is established. Let's try to activate connection. Status returns value 7004 in hex, which means, that communication connection has been established, and this connection is under monitor. It also identifies, that there is no active job. So, it means, that connection to the remote partner is successful. Let's try to disconnect. Value 7000 in hex indicates, that communication is terminated. Let's try to reconnect again. In this example I am going to send one byte to the remote S7300 series station. At first I need to activate the receive on the S7300 station side. To activate the send job on S7200 side, you need to set input REQ of the TSENSE. -E. I do send one byte on the regular 1Hz interval. Let's try to send some data to the S7300 series station. Start the receive on the S7300 side. Now let's try to send some value. As you can see, S7300 station have got the value, that I have sent from S7200 station. Try another value. Success again. As communication between these two stations established, the value on the S7300 side changes according to the S1200 side. I will try to deactivate the send command on the S7200 side. The value ain't change anymore. Nothing has been sent to the S7300 CPU. Now the value changes again, as I have reactivated the send job. So, as you can see, I have achieved the goal to make a communication between S7300 and S7200 CPUs in user program. The communication is set successfully, data exchange between these CPUs is stable. If you find this video useful, please like it, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.